I was born and raised in Tonga, probably five minutes from the Cape Rono Kalofa. Yeah, I moved to uh, New Zealand uh, for a scholarship to play rugby and study at Auckland Grammar School. My mum was a netball, played for Samoa as well. My dad was a volleyballer, played for Samoa. So we were probably always destined to play sport, just which one. Um, we, my parents weren't really sure. So um, yeah, they put us in the rugby league. I was born and raised in uh, Sydney, Australia. Began playing for uh, Manly Seagulls in the under-16s, the Howard Matthews competition. Uh, and that was sort of the, yeah, the beginning of my, my pathway and journey. I, mean, I was at a crossroads three years ago. I wanted to sort of quit rugby league, but um, yeah, thankfully uh, the option to go to the UK and join my brother over there, who you know probably pulled me over the line to give it a try. You know what what could hurt that I just come back home. So I gave it a try, and I come to a pretty successful club. I always wanted to you know compete over in the Super League and uh, experience life in in the UK. And thankfully, Christian Wolf, who I've got a relationship with in Tonga, um, a spot opened up, and he yeah gave me a call and that's how I ended up there. The weather has been a factor for me personally, obviously, you know, you do pre-season in the hot summer uh, in the NRL, whereas in, in, in England you're doing pre-season in, in cold winter hail, <laughs> uh, sometimes snowing. So personally, that's been a, an adjustment for me. Yeah, I'd say the biggest difference between NRL and Super League is uh, probably the difference in body shapes. Um, in Super League, probably a bit more faster game, suited for more mobile middles. And uh, NRL, there's a lot of big bodies from the wingers all the way to the, the middles. So. But in terms of toughness, being at the top of the ladder and, and winning three in a row, everyone wants to beat us. So every week feels like a tough game. Yeah, the Pacific Island boys, they bring um... Definitely a different dynamic. They're all, they're all great lads. They're very bubbly, especially, especially Connie. Have you met Connie? I mean, <laughs> he's a social media hero. He's a, nah, he's just a character. He's someone you need in your team, especially before Connie come. We, everyone was pretty much straighty 180s. He's probably changed the environment, made it a bit more lively, a bit more loose. You know, not not so much strict and you know to the books. And um, everyone loves him. Five years now away from, from the sun, and I thought I'll, I'll still be all right walking around in Manly Beach with no shirt on. Yeah, I am, I am, I am sunburned. I, I think I've, I've called myself half Pommy now, half Tong and half Pommy. Yeah, there, there is a Pacific Island connection in the UK. It's, it's a great blessing. It brings a touch of home to England. Obviously, we are a family kind of people. Being away from our family, it's, it's quite tough sometimes, but a lot of teams got a lot of Tongan, a lot of Samoans, PNGs, uh, Fijian, a lot over there, and sometimes we, we get amongst ourselves after like, once a month, do a feed or something like that. Yeah, I think it's really important to have that connection and um, you know gatherings of your culture, especially with the partners. Uh, my partner left her family, first time moving away from home. Um, she's only just moved out of home for 12 months. We built a house together, and so it was a big, big step for her. We had three or oh, two kids at the time. You sort of you know resonate with your own people and understand uh, certain behaviours and cultures that um, underlie what we do and, and how we think, and so it's good to you know have that that common ground. What would I say to our, our Tongan kids back home and, and all the other Polynesian or a little bit of advice is just hold on to their hope, um, never give up on your hope, but at the same time, you have to work hard. Even if you don't want to be a, fo a footy player, you can be like any doctor or school or whatever you want to do, just have that little bit of hope and work hard for it. So that's my little advice.